Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are back inside of an app called Luna Tasks for another review or an updated review I would rather call it because this app is quite similar to an app I've tested before and have actually done a video on this before as well but they have done some updates to it so I thought I would do a whole nother look at the app. So this wants to be your all-in-one hub for your productivity. So if you just want one place to have all of your productivity, this is the app for you. There are uh, quite a bit of customization you can do to this, and this is probably one of the only apps of its kind. The only similar thing I've seen is Bright, but in my opinion, Bright probably isn't as good as Luna Tasks. Uh, this doesn't have as many bugs, everything works quite smoothly, and they have a really cool roadmap, and it seems like they keep on developing. So there are a couple of workflows you can choose when it comes to your tasks. You can have a Kanban, if you prefer the Kanban method. You can have must, should, want method. This is also a really cool uh, method. Um, I love the fact that they have all of these different methods for you. So you can choose which one you want. You have the now versus later method. I personally uh, use uh, this in my uh, personal workflow uh, when I use other apps or things three and uh, Amy, which is my calendar and my to do list app i use the must should want method so there are things you must do there are things you should do and there are things you want to do uh, you also have the eisenhower matrix which is amazing for those of you who struggle to uh, prioritize tasks i do this at work because i tend to struggle to prioritize tasks or you can review old tasks this is probably best when you've been sick for a week or you've fallen out of the habit of planning and you can uh, use this to sort of get back on track so they have different workflows which is really cool this app markets itself as an app for people with adhd which works great uh, for me because it's a, I have bipolar disorder and I struggle with some of the things that people with ADHD struggle with. Uh, so um, this is just an amazing app uh, and we will dive deeper into it. But this just shows you how uh, the how detailed they are in building up the app just the fact that you can change how you want what workflow you want for your tasks is amazing uh, some of these are on the pro plan and we can take a look at how much they cost so the free plan is zero dollars each month uh, and the pro plan is six dollars each month or sixty dollars each month if you pay yearly which is actually quite cheap uh, compared to a lot of the other apps out there. You also have a few integrations. So you have Gcal, Outlook, uh, iCloud, uh, Fastmail, and you can also connect to other calendars. You can connect it to Zapier. You can uh, set up shortcuts on iOS and Mac and also a public API as well. And you can set up different uh, integrations as well, like a home screen widget on iOS. They have a mobile app in beta, which is uh, great because you probably would need a mobile app for something like this. Uh, I won't dive too much into that simply because my internet is really slow, but there is an app out there uh, if you wanted to try out uh, the app on mobile as well. You can export all of your uh, notes, tasks, journal entries, and habit tracker, even mood tracker as CSV. Uh, and some of them you can also import as markdown as well. So your notes could be uh, in, uh, exported as markdown as well if you ever wanted to move into a different app 
We have keyboard shortcuts as well. Again, we go into the web browser and there are a bunch of keyboard shortcuts for those of you who like to use or prefer to use keyboard shortcuts. So that's the basic setting parts about this app. Uh, now we have gone through the tasks and you can add tasks and you can schedule them into your calendar just by dragging and dropping. So I have one habit inside of here, but just to do an example, I can add a task in here as well. So I actually have a task right here, which I can drag into my calendar. So let's just go on and delete this. You can have different areas of life. As I said, you have... Um, two on the free plan but you can have a lot more on the pro plan so I could have a bunch of areas so I could have my job my personal tasks my personal social media my relationships you name it you could have uh, areas of your life as well I would like to see projects in here as well something like things three is doing with different projects that would be great uh, and you can also add your goals in here as well. Uh, so you could add uh, different goals you have. Again, all in one planner. It has everything you need and it works. You can have different habits. So review daily tasks and track mood and energy level is the two I have set up uh, as my uh, habits. And you can uh, you get them in your calendar as well and you can check them off as you go. You have journal so this is basically for journaling. If we take a look up here you can see that you have your streaks, you have uh, total entries and you have months journaled as well. We even have note taking and note taking works with different notebooks. Uh, so if you have tried out something like Evernote or Upnote, this is the uh, note app for uh, this note app feels familiar to you. You can add different tags to organize things and you can even get to see it in a full uh, screen view. So it offers a great uh, note-taking experience. You even have sharing as well. So you could share it with a public link. You can copy it as Markdown or you can download the whole Markdown uh, file and send it. So it has different ways of allowing you to share your different notes. And you can even put a date on them to use them as daily notes as well. So that is also a possibility uh, and as you can see i have the power system inside of here as well and i could go on and add different notebooks i have a private notebook which uh, requires a password to get into and you can easily set that up i won't show you that now because uh, it is private we also have a relationship tracker which is coming soon Probably, I think I read on Twitter that it would come out uh, around the end of March. Uh, so um, this will be a way for you to track your relationship, which is something I need in my life because I struggle to maintain relationships with my friends and family and the people around me. It is so hard to remember when I have a lot of things on my plate. But just in general, this has everything you would want from an all-in-one app and it is so simple to use. I have tried so many productivity apps and this is probably the simplest one. It, it is so appealing and just so easy to use. It is easy to add notes, easy to add goals, easy to write your journal and you have everything in the same place which is just amazing. Uh, so I am really happy with this app. Uh, it is one of the coolest app and probably the apps I am most excited about uh, because this has huge potential and it is really good right now as well. Uh, but it has huge potential to become an all-in-one app for people who don't want to spend time customizing their workflow 
and trying to figure out how they should set up everything. People that just want an easy way to become more organized and more productive, this is probably the app for you. Uh, as I said, it is quite similar to something like Bright, and I loved Bright as an app. I really wanted it to be my all-in-one app, but it just wasn't good enough. Uh, this app, on the other hand, is good enough, and it is just becoming better and better. So this will probably be an app I will keep an eye on going forward, and hopefully if it continues to develop the way it is doing right now. Uh, this could be an app I could see myself using as my all-in-one productivity app. Anyways, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.